So welcome everybody to this latest revision video on 162 Matter and in this video we'll be continuing with the theme of equation of a circle with a focus of going through some exam questions relating to finding the equation of a tangent to a circle. So before we get started working through some example questions let's just have a quick review over the formulas that you need to know in preparation for this particular topic. So looking at the first one, equations of a circle with center 0, 0 and the radius of r. Now if you recognize that the center is at the origin at 0, 0, then it will make your life a lot easier when working with the equation of a circle. So always take note that often when the center of the circle is at the origin, that the questions are therefore going to be worth less marks because it should be easier for you to do. Now if on the rare occasion you get an equation where it is not in the center, then this second one would be the equation of your circle which again r is equal to r squared your center is at a b and therefore all we just do is swap the x and the y ordinates into this formula and a hey, presto you should have the equation of your circle next one which is really important when working with a tangent is the gradient between two points and this is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 in other words the difference in y over the difference in x now if you do use the triangle method because you're given a diagram then that's absolutely fine but just bear in mind that you include the sign of your tangent uh, as the gradient so if the line is going upwards and it's got positive gradient if the line is going downwards it's going to have a negative gradient so make sure you include that minus sign now the midpoint between two points is another formula that you do need to know. So again, it's where you add up the two x ordinates divided by two and add up the two y ordinates divided by two. This is particularly handy if you are working out, let's say, the equation of a perpendicular bisector on the further maths syllabus. Next one is the equation of a straight line. Now this really is dependent on how you've been taught in school. So some people will use y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. And we tend to use this formula for when you know m. So use when you know m, which is your gradient of the line that you're trying to find, and the coordinate x1, y1, which lies on the line in question. Now we tend to use y equals mx plus c. When you know the gradient, so use when you know m, which is your gradient, and c, which is the y-intercept. And again, you might save yourself. So if you know if you've been given a diagram and you know where your line that you try and straight line, where it crosses the y-axis, then I would go for y equals mx of c over y minus y1 equals mx minus x1 which again it doesn't really matter which one you do it just which one's more efficient one's always going to be more efficient than the other and the last one particularly with the gradient of a, the equation of a tangent is that the gradient of the tangent at a point on the circle is perpendicular to the gradient of the center of the circle to the same point so for example if i just do a quick diagram of a circle very poorly drawn one and here is my center and let's just draw a quick tangent so here if i mark this point as and let's use a different color let's go for dark green so if i call this point x and this is o then the line of o x is going to be perpendicular to that red line so if that red line there represents the tangent and this line here represents the radius or o x then those two lines there are going to be perpendicular. So now let's have a look at some revision questions. Now again, just a little reminder that if you want to have access to these questions, then all you need to do is just click on the link in the description below and you can either have a go at these questions before watching this video or you can have a go at them while we watch and go through the answers. So looking at question one, it says P is a point on the circle with the equation of x squared plus y squared equals 80. P has an x ordinate of 4 and is below the x axis. And the question is asking us to work out the equation of the the, the equation of the tangent at, to the circle at point P. So looking at this point P, now from this particular equation of a circle, I know that the center is 0, 0 because nothing is being added or subtracted to the x and y values. And I know that the radius is root 80, which again is really important because a lot of students just automatically think that the radius is going to be 80. 
Now in the question it says that point P has an X ordinate of four. So this distance here is going to be four. Now in order to find the equation of the tangent, so let me just write down the tangent here and that's what we were trying to find. I need to know the gradient and I need to know where it either crosses the Y axis or a coordinate. Now I can find the coordinate of P, so the Y ordinate of P by substituting x equals 4 into the equation of a circle because that's where p also lies on so x squared plus y squared equals 80 so if i do just that then what i end up with is 16 plus y squared equals 80 so here y squared is going to be 80 minus 16 which gives me 64 and so y equals plus or minus 8 now, because P is below the x-axis, then the coordinate of P is going to be 4 minus 8. Because it's below as it's below the x-axis. So there I have a coordinate. Now, if I just draw a line from O to P, then I can work out the gradient of OP by drawing a triangle. Now the gradient of that line is going to be negative because it's going down but if I use the coordinates of P as the center is zero that this distance here is going to be minus eight and this distance here is going to be four. Now I can ignore the minus because obviously you're dealing with negative length so here I've got the difference in y which is eight over the difference in x which is four so the gradient then of OP is going to be minus two. So therefore the gradient of the tangent is going to be the negative reciprocal of o, the gradient of OP. So it's going to be minus 1 over minus 2, which is just a half. So M equals a half. So then from this, if I know that M equals a half and the coordinate of P is 4 minus 8, I can then substitute this into Y minus Y1 equals MX minus X1. So substitute those numbers in, I get Y. Now minus minus 8 becomes plus 8 equals a half x minus 4. Now expanding the brackets out, I get a half x and a half times 4 is 2. Then I take the 8 over to the side by minus in it. So I get y equals a half x minus 10. And there is my final answer. Now that does look correct because as you can see, the equation of the, ta the tangent crosses the y-axis at a negative value, and that is exactly what I have got. Moving on to question two, again, very, very similar. It says P is at the coordinate of minus one, four, and is a point on the circle with center O. Work out the equation of the tangent to the circle at P. And we want to give our answer in the form of y equals mx plus c. So here, this point here is minus one, four. So this point here is four and this point here is minus one. So the first thing I wanna do is work out the tangent or the gradient, sorry, of PO. So the gradient of OP. And again, drawing that triangle, it's gonna have a negative gradient because the line is going down. So this length here is four, that distance there is one. So the gradient is gonna be four over one and it's minus and the gradient then is minus four. So therefore, the gradient of the tangent is gonna equal minus one over minus four, so that's just gonna be a quarter. So then using m equals a quarter, and a coordinate that lies on the tangent, which is minus one, four, I'm gonna use y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. So here, y minus 4 equals a quarter x minus minus 1 becomes plus 1. Then expanding the brackets, I get y minus 4 equals a quarter x plus a quarter. And then if I take the 4 over to the side, end up with y equals a quarter x plus 4 and a quarter. Now if I want to neaten that up, I can do. So I've got y equals a quarter x plus 17 over 4 and there is my final answer 
in the form of y equals mx plus c. Now it doesn't state that m or c are integers, so again, having fractions seems quite reasonable. Moving on to question three, it says a and b are points on a circle with the equation of x squared plus y squared equals 25. a is three at the point of 3, 4, b is at the point on the y-axis, and p a and p b are tangents. Show that the coordinates of b is 0, 5. So for this, all we need to show is that the radius of the circle is going to be the square root of 25, which is 5. So here, as the center is 0, 0, and radius equals 5. Let me just move this up a little bit. And b is below the x-axis then b equals 0, 5 or minus 5 rather and there we go and the reason for that we could mark it even on the diagram that this here is 5 and so 0 minus 5 equals minus 5 and that's where that line is it then says give a reason why p a equals p b and again using your knowledge of circle theorems is because uh, the lengths of tangents meeting at an external point outside the circle will be equal in length so something along those lines would be absolutely fine it then says p is the point uh, a b and it says work out the values of a b so in other words what we want to do is we want to work out the coordinates of p so to work out p well we know that the y ordinate is going to be minus 5 and the reason for that is because it lies on the line here so the next thing for us to do then do is to work out the equation of so for c what we want to do is want to work out the equation of a p so first of all let's work out the gradient of that line so here o a so the gradient of o a is going to be 4 divided by 3 and it's going to be positive because that green line is going upwards so therefore the gradient of a p is going to be the negative reciprocal so minus 1 over 4 thirds and when you do the reciprocal of a fraction we flip the fraction and because we want to change the sign it's going to be minus 3 quarters so then using m equals minus 3 quarters and the coordinate of 3 4 we can then work out the gradient the equation of ap is going to equal y minus 4 equals minus 3 quarters minus x let's just neaten that up so minus 3 quarters x minus 3 then neatening all of that up we get my y minus 4 equals minus 3 quarters x plus and then 3 times 3 is 9 so it's going to be 9 over 4 and then if i take the 4 over to the other side i end up with y equals minus 3 quarters x and then 9 quarters plus Four, quarter, uh, 4 is going to be 25 over 4. And again, reason for that is because I can write 60, 4 as 16 over 4, and then 9 plus 16 is 25. So there is the equation of AP. So from this, when I know that y equals 4, or when y equals minus 5, all I've got to do is substitute that in. So minus 5 equals minus 3 quarters x plus 25 over 4. Now if I just take that, just move down a little bit. So then from this, what I then do is I take the 25 over 4 over to the other side. So I end up with minus 5 minus 25 over 4, which gives me minus 45 over 4 equals 3 quarters x. So x equals minus 45 over 4 divided by minus 3 quarters. And if I do that, 
I get an answer of 15. So x equals 15. So a equals 15. So then in this particular question, a equals 15 and b equals minus 5. Moving on to question four, it says that the diagram shows the circle of x squared plus y squared plus 10. And it says, and I think that's supposed to be equal 10. So let me just correct that. And it says P lies on the circle and has an X ordinate of one. The tangent at P intersects the X axis at Q and it says work out the coordinates of Q. So for this, what we want to do first is note what P is. So the Y ordinate of P is where we substitute x equals 1 into x squared plus y squared equals 10. And again, the reason for that is because I'm trying to find the coordinate that lies on the circle and all I need to do is substitute the x ordinate to find the y ordinate. So from this, I get 1 squared plus y squared equals 10. So y squared equals 9. So y equals plus or minus 3. Now, because p is above the x-axis, y is going to equal positive 3. So p is going to have a coordinate of 1. Three. So now that I know the coordinate of P, what I can then do is go on to find the gradient or the equation of the tangent. So here, the equation of line PQ, which in other words is the tangent at P. Then, first of all, I need to work out the gradient of Q OP. So gradient of OP. And again, if I draw my triangle, that's going to be 3. That's going to be 1 based on the coordinates. So it's going to be 3 over 1, which is 3. So therefore, the gradient of PQ is going to be minus 1 third. And that equals M. So then using M equals minus a third and the coordinate of 1, 3, I get the equation of PQ equaling y minus 3 equals minus 1 third x plus uh, minus 1. So from this, I don't really need to expand it, but basically at q, x, uh, y equals 0. So if I substitute y equals 0 into this, then what I end up is with 0 minus 3 equals a third x minus 1. And if I just scroll down a little bit from there, and then from this, I've got minus 3 equals minus a third x plus a third. Take the third over to the other side. So I end up with minus 3 and a third equals minus a third x. And then minus third, 3 and a third divided by minus a third equals x. And either I can do that on my calculator or... I can do it in any other way that I want. So 10 divided by 3 divided by 1 over 3. And that leaves me with an answer of 10. So Q has a coordinate of 10, 0. And there is my final answer.